The SIU women's tennis team played Eastern Illinois last night in an exciting matchup. And the Chicago Bulls are on fire as they went neck and neck with the Milwaukee Bucks last night. Sydney Kessler is here with more in sports. Sydney. Well, the SAU swimming and diving team just can't seem to keep their names out of the headlines. The men's, and me the men's golf teams are currently in Arizona as they're hoping to push through their unlucky streak. And if you've ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of your TV screen, we've got some news for you. Now don't touch that remote. I'll be back in just less than 90 seconds. And now the latest scores and highlights from across the River Region. This is Evening Edition Sports. Well, the women's tennis team snapped a six-match losing streak by defeating Eastern Illinois in a 5-2 victory. The Salukis won with strong performances and doubles, coming away with wins in the number one and number three positions. The women also left the courts with four single wins as well. The Salukis are now 2-6 and six for the season and undefeated at home. The Dogs will be playing at home again on Friday to face Austin P at 4.30, followed by Northern Illinois on Saturday at 9 a.m. All home matches will be played at the Garden Grove Events Center in Carbondale. The SAU men's and women's swimming and diving team simply can't and won't stop making headlines. Both teams were just named Scholar All-American teams for the fall 2014 semester by the CSCAA. The men's program posted a cumulative GPA of 3.48, which was good enough for third nationally among Division I swimming and diving programs, trailing only, trailing only behind Grand Canyon and Yale University. The women's program posted a 3.49 GPA for the semester, ranking them 22nd nationally. And when you tally the two together, the team's combined GPA of 6.97 was third highest nationally, and again, only behind Yale and Grand Canyon University. The men's golf team had a rough start to their season and the current tournament in Goodyear, Arizona isn't helping. After day two of the snowman getaway, the dogs seem to be in a deep freeze as they slipped two spots to 16th place out of 17. Southern shot a team score of 311 in round two after carding a 305 on the first day. The top player of the day two was Andrew Mitchell who shot a three over par 75. He recorded four bogeys, one birdie, and parred the rest of the course, try, tying him for 50th place out of 100 golfers. The next, time, the next time the dogs meet up will be at the UT Martin Grover Page Classic in Tennessee on March 9th to the 10th. Now, do you ever wonder what goes on behind the scenes when you flip on ESPN, SportsCenter, or even Slukey All Access? Well, here at SIU, students are able to participate and even get jobs in these behind-the-scenes careers. Every semester, students are able to take, take classes in media and sports production. Here are these future producers, directors, video, and videographers help broadcast some of the SIU sporting events that occur throughout the year. Saluki Athletics has partnered with the, the School of Mass Communications to create the cl this class that basically allows for students to have a chance to get hands-on experience working uh, all kinds of different live sporting events, whether it's volleyball, whether it's men's basketball, women's basketball football, baseball, softball, there's a little bit of everything. Tune in Thursday at 5 to hear more about the video service program on the monthly edition of Saluki Sports View. Although the weather might not be an indicator, baseball season is soon approaching, and things have certainly heated up for the Chicago Cubs this past winter. After an 89 loss season, Cubs president Theo Epstein made some major improvements across the board this past offseason. To go along with power performers Starlin Castro and Anthony Rizzo, Chicago added some much-needed star power. Manager Joe Madden, Miguel Montro, Dexter Fowler, and most notably two-time World Series champ John Lester will be joining the Cubs this spring. Currently, the lovable losers are 14, have 14 to 1 odds to win the World Series this season, giving hope to the fans that the curse may finally be broken. Well, hockey fans, believe it or not, the season is halfway over. The St. Louis Blues have been all around the nation lately in hopes of a Stanley Cup ending. However, the Blues lost their last game to Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-2. St. Louis will attempt to rebound off their previous loss as they take on the Montreal Canadiens tonight in St. Louis at 8 p.m. Now moving north, the Chicago Blackhawks are currently on, currently on a three-game slump as they have lost to Detroit, Colorado, and Boston. 
The Hawks will be taking on the Florida Panthers tonight at home in hopes of breaking their three-game losing skid. The puck drops at 8.30 p.m. And the Chicago Bulls are, pr are proving to be a force in the Eastern Conference as the team won its six out of the last seven games. Now we're going to jump here into the fourth quarter of the game. Aaron Brooks drives to the basket, puts his shot as high. Luckily, though, Jimmy Butler is there for the, put the putback slam. Later on the fourth quarter, Derrick Rose is trying to inbound the pass and dishes a beautiful assist to Joe Kim Noah for the easy slam dunk. Rose driving up the basket gets caught up in traffic but dishes it to Nikolai Maritek for the shot from downtown. Look at him. He's on fire this game. And he should be as the Bulls would go on to win 87-71. to Thank you, Sydney. We'll be looking forward to Saluki Sports View on Thursday, too. Yeah, definitely be sure to turn into that. It's going to be a great show. All right, thank you.